I want to show you how I make these glaze fusion tests. I make these balls and they're 10 grams each and then I put them on these tiles and I fire them in the kiln. This one's going to go to cone 6 and they end up with something like this. And by measuring the diameter of these then I know I can give a number to how much the glaze flows when it melts in the kiln. So to do that I'm just going to take some of the glaze that I have here and this is fairly well gelled pour it on my plaster bat and then I'll just spread it out and a typical glaze that has the right amount of clay in it not too much grisly borate will dewater on this plaster within seconds so I can scrape it up and spread it back out again and just let it sit there a few seconds. It's very easy to leave it on too long and then it'll end up being too stiff and you can't roll it into a ball. We're getting close. Some glazes that have a lot of gristly borate uh, will take a lot longer to do than this or if they have a lot of any kind of clay and so this is actually a good measure tell you whether you have the right amount of clay in your glaze. So that's looking pretty good and so now I just keep doubling it over itself, mixing it. And since almost every glaze has some clay in it, there's some plasticity there that enables you to shape it. And now I need to, I want to have 10 grams when it's dry so when it's wet I need about 12 and a half grams and so I just put it on a scale and keep adjusting it until I have about 12 and a half grams. There we are. And then I just dry this, usually under a heat lamp, and I can stamp identification onto it, and I'm ready to go.